the Midwest Foods Produce Time. I'm Patrick Fitzgerald and I'll be guiding you through this week's December 5th Produce Times. I'm going to start us off today with some uh, different types of cucumbers and pickles. So we're getting some fresh types of uh, cucumbers in from Mexico right now. They're in about a 50 pound box. We have two different types. These are the select and there's also a choice. And it is just a raw pickle. We also have some hothouse cucumbers that are coming in. They're about a 10 to 15 pound box. And it's a seedless, a baby seedless cucumber. Next I have some fava beans. Now they've been a little bit difficult to get over the last couple days. Um, but they are new crop. They are coming out of California and Florida. And they are a lot smaller than what they normally are. So you're going to see these get a little bit more plentiful um, and definitely better quality as the uh, season goes on. I also have some okra that is coming out of Mexico. It comes in an 18 pound case and the uh, season is already and has been on for a little while. But it is a uh, nice size, good quality. So finally the long beans have um, come a long way since they first started this, uh, this fall and the quality of them are much better. So I brought out a little sample of them and they're just getting better every single week. They got the darker green, um, they got some nice tips to it and they're definitely um, uh, quality a lot better than it was. I'm going to move on into fruit now. I've got a few different types of apples. So this is the grapple apple which is uh, available now. It's a gala apple with a cherry juice that's been uh, immersed on the outside of it. Okay, since our local apple guys are done and uh, closed up for the season, I did bring in some from Washington and Oregon. We have some black Arkansas that came in from uh, Washington, and here I brought a sample of what's called the Golden Dragon Apple out of Oregon. Very similar to a gold apple, a um, lot different taste though. With the mango season now completely <coughs> underway, we're getting some absolutely beautiful fruit out of Brazil. This is the Tamiakin mango. They are coming a uh, nine count, which is the ones we're buying. Got some beautiful meat inside of there and absolutely delicious. I did bring out some persimmons from California. These are absolutely beautiful. They are about 16 to 20 counts from California and the color is great. They cut nice and the, uh, the meat inside is absolutely wonderful. Let's move on to some of the cherries. I brought these out a few weeks ago and when they were about $85 a case. These are costing around $45 to $50 a box. They're an 18 count. They're a little bit bigger than before, but the taste has improved greatly. So new red cherries from Chile. Also we have some Cape gooseberries out of Chile. They come a 12 one pint and of course they have the cape on there which you just peel off and you've got this beautiful berry on the inside. So for our produce surprise this week is really kind of a substitution item. What I did is I found some red navel oranges out on the market. These are coming out of Florida. They actually do cut very nice and you still have that orange flavor out of it. Uh, it kind of looks like a grapefruit on the inside. However, with the blood oranges and the caracara -cara oranges done for the season, I, uh, I think this would be a perfect substitute for that. In addition, the blood oranges should be starting up within the next week or so from California, so it won't be too long until we get some, some blood oranges in, but they won't be as uh, red as this is, and it will be a couple weeks after that until we get in some good quality fruit. Okay, for done for the season section, we have again baby kiwis, lobster mushrooms, rhubarb, figs, passion fruit, blood oranges, and caracara -cara oranges. Okay, for our recalls, we have two recalls that are coming out of the industry. These again are not related to anything Midwest Foods has bought or is selling currently. These are just something that's in the industry. We have a recall from Rio Queen Citrus Company out of Texas and they're recalling grape tomatoes. And there's also the cantaloupe recall that I talked about last week from the Four Seasons Produce Company out of Pennsylvania. And again, Midwest Foods is, does not and has no uh, recalled at this time. In terms of weather, we have the uh, cold front moving into Huron and the Salinas area. So they're going to have a little adverse effect on the uh, produce, but uh, it is warming up during the day, so we should be able to get through it just fine. 
Um, other than that, the weather around the rest of the country is doing just great. Another thing that we had done with the produce time last week is we added a secret Santa. So on page five, under grapes, we mentioned that there was a secret Santa in last week's produce time, and if you found it, to email me at producetime at midwestfoods.com. We had a significant number of people that actually did read it and emailed it to us and that we sent out a free flight of strawberries to. Uh, but just as a reminder, we are going to be putting those things in from time to time, so be sure to read the Produce Times. And that's your produce update for the week of December 5th, 2011. Don't forget to sign up for the uh, January 1st. We're going to be starting the taping at some of the locations. So email me at producetime at midwestfoods.com. Thank you and have a great week.